Hello YouTube, GS Man I'm Smart here again, and today's tutorial will be showing everyone how to correctly, safely, and properly add fonts to your GIMP designing program. So you're going to open your Internet Explorer, come up to the address bar, or if you want the search bar. www.thefont.com and it should bring you to a site that looks like this now if you just want to look for a font and don't care how it looks look at the latest ones that people made or if you want something more specific you can come over here say you wanted Say you wanted, um, I don't know, say you wanted flames. Let's say we received five fonts on the font for flames. Now they have a bunch here. Let's see. Let's go with this one over here, Gothic Flames, since I have the first one already. So I'm going to come over here to download. then you're gonna press save down here you keep the same name so remember the name gothic flames press the save button and now once it's completed downloading you're gonna press open folder now there's your gothic flames over here gonna right click it and go up to extract all you're gonna press next and then next again and finish that'll open up your folder gothic flames there it is that's that's what you need right here this is what you need so you're gonna drag this window over so your other window shows up and go down to my computer your C drive Windows and you're gonna press fonts and then come back over here to this window and grab your new font and drag it and just drop it in here and that should work and now you can close this and you can close this and you can close this now you can go over here to GIMP open it now since you have a new file on GIMP and you have a new font on GIMP Usually, the program starts immediately, like usual, but since you have new data on the program and the new font installed, it's going to take a little longer to start up. So you got to be patient as it starts. Don't start worrying, closing it and pressing task manager and everything. Just let it load by itself because you just added a new font, so now it has to load that font into the program. So in the meantime this loads, you can come over here to the start button, come over here to my computer, your C drive, Windows, and you can check if your font's in there now. Now if you go to fonts, and if you remember your font name, I remember Gothic Flames, you can go to the G's, or whatever your font is called. And you'll see there's our gothic flames right here and this is how the writing would look this is how it would look right here it shows you how it looks 
so you do have it in there. So basically, when your gym when your gym um, finishes loading, like mine just finished right now, then you can use your font and write whatever you want with it. Now some fonts may look weird so make your selection wise don't bother um, getting some weird font that's gonna be super huge so let's check out how this font looks see if it works since I know the name of my font already gothic flames we'll go over here Let's make this 50 so you guys can see. Come over here. And there's your font that you just made. So you can basically do this with any font you want on the font.com. Just follow these steps and you'll be able to get any font you want, use it on anything you want. And this concludes our tutorial on how to correctly, safely, and properly get a font, a new font, into your GIMP designing program. As it says, thanks for watching. Rate, comment. And I'll be back with another tutorial soon.